Hi guys, so today I'm actually going to tell you about 5 tech jobs that can fetch you a lot of money in the tech space, both no coding and coding jobs. So if you're excited about coding jobs, then this video is for you. And if you're excited about no coding jobs as well, this video is amazing for you. This jobs will fetch you a lot of money, I mean like thousands of dollars. Uh, well, depends on how grounded you are with the skills. So it's your skills that will actually determine, you know, how much you might be paid, you know, depending on whether you're an intern, junior, or a senior software developer. So welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to my channel again. You are the VIPs, guys. So uh, if you're new to this channel, then you are awesome. I'm really excited to have you. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, drop your comment. Feel free to drop a comment. I'll be excited to respond to them. So don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my Twitter page at MeetSleek. Please follow me and I'll be excited to connect with you via all the social media platforms. So without much ado, say no more. Let's get started. So the first on my list is blockchain developer or engineer. This is actually really amazing to see that the attraction towards blockchain is quite overwhelming and you see everybody talking about blockchain around the world and you know what blockchain is, you know, having the opportunity of creating uh, your data in blocked, secured, you know, very secure, decentralized, you know, open and at the same time nobody has control over your data and all that. So it makes it very amazing. And as it blockchain developer you have the opportunity to learn a lot of things it could be really complex because you have to learn things around you know digital signatures ether gas ethereum blockchains and all that bitcoin you know it's quite wide but it's really deserving i could really tell you that blockchain is the highest paying job in tech right now and this is really amazing as a blockchain developer you have still the opportunity to be highly paid in hundreds of thousands of dollars and that's really amazing i think i have to start thinking about switching into blockchain field <laughs> You serious? So let's talk about salary as a blockchain developer. So according to SIP Recruiter, we've seen that the range is quite amazing and overwhelming. You're seeing that at least um, as a blockchain developer, you can get up to $120,000 per annum, up to maybe even $500,000 per annum, depending on how grounded you are with the skills and maybe your number of years of experience and all that. So it's quite exciting. Imagine you collecting like $5,000 in a week as a blockchain engineer or blockchain developer. That's really exciting so homo I, mean, I think i have to change my mind right now i'm, I'm thinking of diving really into being a blockchain developer Are you serious I, you know, there's still too much time too so it's actually very amazing so if you think oh, it's blockchain excites you i think it's something you can want to look out to so let's move on to the next one so second on my list is the cloud engineer so it's actually really amazing when you talk about cloud engineer cloud computing and all that you can also talk about devops you know these are people that how your data are being seen to internet you know you know hosting of software in the in the cloud seeing the cloud functionality how to scale up and scale down elasticity you know everything around cloud computing you know deploying your applications on cloud either it's a google cloud platform they're using or amazon web services or microsoft azure depending on whatever platform they are using so uh, these are really amazing engineers that have to work a lot if you are a yeah, DevOps, you have to deploy on java you know do a lot of things you know check the old algorithms making sure everything works perfectly if there is actually traffic on the website scale up scale down you know everything has to be in shape and also how your data has, has been synced in the cloud and all that think about cloud around data synchronization and all that basically for a layman so these are people that does a lot of work and their salaries can be really amazing too it started from uh, 100,000 to like 200,000 300,000 depending on how graded you are in the skills those are the major number of years you have this is another amazing tech job or tech skills to actually dive into and which you can actually earn a lot of money if you're looking at being a cloud engineer i think you can give it a shot it pays a lot so let's move to the next one so the next on my list is software engineer okay so you could always think about software engineer in different ways you know more around front-end engineer back-end engineer 
you know, combining both of them together, that's what I feel is a software engineer. Because as a software engineer, you have to think about the whole thing, the whole front end and back end thing. You know, important that you have to think around writing code, creating interfaces, and seeing how all the functionalities of the application works. So it's actually amazing to have skills around, uh, depending on which programming language you want, you want to learn. You can decide to use Java, uh, Python, you know, maybe Java, uh, JavaScript, learn Node.js, you know, React and all that. So, because as a software engineer, you need more of the back-end skills as a software engineer than even the front-end skills, basically. And you are more concerned about the both party and how the whole functionality of the software works. Yeah, so some people also say some software engineer, like they don't need no coding. Well, for me, I feel it's necessary for mo most organizations. You can't be a software engineer in Google, in Amazon, you will not write codes or you now know how this thing works. You must have write code before. What I would say is that most of software engineers, they write code, that's the simple truth, but more or less in a very functional manner. Let's like talking about they have to how to deal with algorithms, you know, complications, architecture and all that. These are really, really very important. Depends on how granted your skills are, just like I will always say. You can get up to one twenty, one fifty thousand dollars per annum, you know, two hundred k per annum in a US standard. Most of the salary skills I've been saying are US standard salary skills. So uh, I'm not talking about African or Nigerian salary skills. So note that. So don't be scared when I see I was just mentioning one hundred thousand dollars per annum and all that. Those are the standard rates a software engineer do get around the corner. So if you're looking around to be a software engineer, basically it's amazing. You can work towards it and become an amazing engineer so let's move to the next one so i've been talking about the coding aspect of tech jobs so i've talked about the blockchain developer i've talked about the software engineer role and i've talked about the cloud engineer which most likely all of them need coding skills now let's talk about the non-coding skills so the first one is ui ux so as a ui ux designer it's actually very important to focus on user interface like the ui the ux user experience so you are just meant to use either figma or adobe xd to actually create your interfaces you know you have to be intimate it's actually very uh, amazing I, I love designs basically so you have to have some amazing intuitive designs you know you have to really be creative with your design you have to follow design rules the pixels these and that party you know those designs are very detailed I have to tell you designers some people see designers as a simple job it's not as simple as you think it has to be very detailed and they have rules protocols and all that so design is amazing if you're thinking about non-coding aspect then design is actually great for something you can you can start with UI then probably go to UX again you know so it's actually amazing and they get paid well if you are someone that has been scared about coding and people are like, oh it's all coding no no just, just go to UI yes I'm gonna try it out it's actually very amazing so you can get as low as 70k in the US salary standard job offers and up to 150 200 depending on company's standard as well or depending on your region and location as well so it's actually an amazing tech job you can also try out so that will be hit for ui ux so you can try being a badass ui designer today so let's move to the next one so finally we have the awesome data analyst which also i'm going to tell you a story around so as a data analyst you have opportunity to interpret data and also turn into information that can improve businesses so you see people that are data analysts work around data a lot you know insertion of data as you know use data is very important in every organization and that's what make every organization grow you know have finding accurate data and finding a way to improve their business so it's very important so they use this data they turn it into information they can improve on their business you know who was going man data manipulation and all that and this is really great so uh this is a platform that doesn't need coding you don't need coding at all it's a non-coding tech job so you just need to work around interpreting data inserting on data and all that and you just need to improve whatever an app or a business goal or whatever business you are so it's an amazing field you can also uh, uh, dive into if you are looking at running around coding in tech jobs so um, that's another amazing opportunity to dive into so let me tell you a story the story of a young lady who actually uh, went for a training, three month intensive training on data analysts and she was really passionate during that process because I remember we talked during the process of why she was really, you know, uh, consistent, passionate, you know, 
driven by the goal she was absolutely committed during the whole process of the training and she makes sure she's careful past all the trainings examinations and all that and just for three months intensive training and after that she was able to get a job offer from four international companies that she has to choose i mean very good pay huge pay and that was pretty impressive as a data analyst you know amazing offers that's quite impressive so what are you waiting for today so i'm challenging you or uh, maybe let me say i'm motivating you to actually get something around the tech field just know what you are going to focus on we are always around talking about their careers you know knowing where what best works for you and knowing the field that you can really perform best really important so how grounded you are in your skills will determine how you will be paid i always say that you know ranging from how you're very good at what you do and be confident of yourself you know be sure of your skills, keep learning, nobody stops learning. So um, I'm really encouraging you today to find a tech job or a tech role to get amazing skills around and trust me, it's going to be awesome in tech journey. And I'm always open to conversation. You can follow me at Mislik on Twitter, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll be happy to help to provide some information or advice if needed. So. Thank you once again for joining these amazing sections. Don't forget to use the subscribe button if you haven't. Also like this video, drop your comments, share your experience, you know, share your excitement about tech field, share what you think, ask questions, and I'll be there to respond to all the questions in the comment section. So once again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.